In the 1980s, Russia's MiG-21 was a top-tier single-engine fighter, and jets like the MiG-23 were common. But Russia soon moved away from single-engine designs, why? Single-engine jets like the MiG-21 were lighter and cheaper, but they had a critical flaw. If the engine failed, the plane was grounded. For combat missions, that's a huge risk, especially in hostile territory. Enter twin-engine fighters. Russia's Su-27 and later the Su-30 flanker provided a key advantage, redundancy. If one engine failed, the second engine could keep the jet in the air and the pilot alive. Twin-engine fighters also bring better thrust, range, and payload capacity, which is crucial for Russia's vast land and harsh climates. With a twin-engine design, Russia could deploy fighters over longer distances without worrying about engine failure in remote areas. Plus, twin-engine jets are more versatile. They can carry more weapons, provide better stability, and handle heavier combat loads. This made them perfect for advanced air defense and multi-role operations, especially with jets like the Su-35 and the newer Su-57. The last single-engine fighters in Russia's fleet were phased out quickly in the 1990s and early 2000s, replaced by multi-role, twin-engine models that could handle more demanding missions. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe.